For many aspiring and emerging authors, the ultimate dream is to be able to support yourself fully through just your writing income. While achieving this level of success is undoubtedly challenging, whether you are traditionally or self-publishing, it is possible. So how did all of the highest earning authors go about making the big bucks in publishing? And what can they teach us? Today, I wanna to talk about strategies that you can adopt right now to help set yourself up for success to one day make those big bucks in publishing. A little bit of background, I worked in the traditional publishing industry, both at a high profile literary agency and at an imprint of Penguin Random House. And I worked with several New York Times bestselling authors and authors who received very high advances. So I really have seen authors make the big bucks in publishing firsthand. So that's where I'm coming from with my tips today. And if you're new to my channel, every week I either talk about the publishing industry like today's video, or I give tactical tips on how to improve your manuscript. So if any of that interests you, I recommend subscribing to join this amazing community of authors. Before we dive into the first tip today, it would also be super helpful for me if you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel and allows my videos to reach more authors just like you. The first way to improve your earning potential as an author is to offer something special. What I mean by this is that there should be something special about your particular book. Now this almost goes without saying, any author who earns a lot of money has some kind of special talent, whether that's in their specific style of storytelling or in their writing capacity and their specific style of prose. Even if you personally don't like a best-selling author's style or story, clearly they're doing something right to engage readers. They're offering those readers something they can't get anywhere else, and that's what you need to do as well. To make the big bucks in publishing, you need to bring something to the table that no one else is. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't take cues or use established tropes from authors who have already been published and stories that are already out there. You certainly can, and many authors do, to great success even. But still, even if you're working within an established genre or within an established story trope, there still has to be something that stands out about your story. So try to drill down and think about your particular strengths as an author. What are you especially good at? Do you have a specific expertise that you bring to your stories? Or do you have an especially strong ear for the cadence and flow of language that gives your stories a literary quality? Can you conjure immersive and creative worlds that people are intrigued by? No matter what it is, try to figure out what that writing superpower is, that thing that makes you different and your stories different. Then you're gonna have a much better understanding of what you as an author are bringing to the publishing landscape, which is only going to help you succeed in making money in that landscape. The next way to make the big bucks in publishing is to know what your readers want. While at first you might write just for yourself, maybe you wrote this story years ago because you felt personally compelled to. Many authors are in that exact position. But if you're thinking about publishing and specifically making a lot of money in publishing, then you need to think about your reader, which specifically are the people who are going to pay for your book. When you're selling a book, it is, at the end of the day, an exchange of value. You're offering something to the reader that they think is worth money to consume. So try to articulate what value are you providing your reader? What do they want? And how are you going to fill that void for them? For instance, George R. R. Martin became so successful because he drew all these readers into his epic world. And then they wanted more and more of those characters and stories, and he could continue delivering that and thus make the big bucks. So who is your reader first and foremost, and what do they want? Are they looking for an escapist fantasy or a feel-good romance? Or in nonfiction, are they looking for guidance or information on a specific topic that you can bring? Authors who are high earning know what their readers want and continue to provide that for them. Before we get into the next tips, I wanted to let you know about a free resource I created specifically for my YouTube community. It's called my Story Self-Assessment Worksheet, and it's a quiz designed to help you see your story from a different perspective and identify its strong suits, as well as what could be improved on the next draft. Downloading that is going to sign you up for my newsletter where I publish exclusive interviews with publishing industry insiders and successfully published authors, and you don't wanna miss out on all the amazing tips they're giving. 
If you wanna go straight to the newsletter, the link is also in the description. The next way to make a lot of money in publishing is to capitalize on other income opportunities. Obviously, successful authors make money selling their books, for which they receive a certain amount of royalties for each book sale. But publishing a book actually opens you up to a lot of other income opportunities. And smart authors can create a number of income streams that really boosts their ability to support themselves. So some of those might be starting a paid newsletter, teaching an online masterclass style course on writing, becoming a creative writing professor or teaching in-person workshops, booking speaking engagements, or offering editing or book coaching services. Once you've experienced some amount of success in publishing, it's likely that other authors would want to learn from you and learn how you've done it, how you've achieved what you've achieved. And this ultimately opens up a lot of opportunities for you to make money as an author in addition to the actual book sales that you are making. In fact, some of these other income streams that you engage with could then in turn actually boost your book sales as well. The next way to make the big bucks in publishing is to sell subsidiary rights. The highest paid authors don't just make money on the initial edition of the book that is published through their publisher. They also make money on additional deals, which are called subsidiary rights. These could include film or TV production rights, audiobook rights, foreign edition rights, and merchandising rights, which is any type of product created from their characters or their book's world. Many big authors have published in many different countries and have also sold the TV and film rights of their books. How many blockbuster movies that are out today are based on a book? All of these subsidiary rights deals can massively increase your reach as an author, and for each of those deals, you are also making money. In the traditional publishing space, your literary agent will be the one spearheading these rights deals, and they will negotiate them for you, of course, with you being fully looped in on what's going on. As with your initial book's publication, they will take a percent commission on any of these subsidiary rights deals that they make for you. Subsidiary rights are something you can even talk about with an agent when you are in the beginning stages of your relationship. If it's important to you, for instance, to have your book translated in other markets and or to have the film or TV rights sold, I would definitely recommend bringing this up as early as possible. You can ask the agent if they see potential to sell subsidiary rights, also called sub rights, for this book. You can ask if they have the proper relationships to make those kinds of deals for you. It's important for you to advocate for yourself and make sure that this is a good literary agent match who is going to support you in your goals for your career. My final tip for making the big bucks as an author is to never give up. So many high earning, best selling, high profile authors have shared stories about the many rejections they faced across the course of their journey. Some were rejected by dozens of literary agents and publishers before they made it. Now the real material difference between them and authors who don't make it and give up and fail are that they continually believed in the potential of their story and their potential as an author. They kept persevering through the rejections because they believed in their abilities and they cared passionately about getting this story told. So even if it takes you years to secure a literary agent, or even if your first book doesn't sell the way that you expect it to, that does not mean you are never going to achieve your dream of being a high income earning author. There's no doubt that publishing a book can be incredibly discouraging and challenging, but the beauty of it is that there's always a chance to break through and make it big. And if you need proof, check out my other video I published recently about two authors who were discouraged about the way their publishing journey was panning out only to suddenly sell thousands of copies of their book and become best-selling authors. Their stories are truly, really inspiring. Remember that the only way to ensure you never achieve your dreams of becoming a high-earning author is to quit. I hope this video helped you feel encouraged about the ways you can make money and earn income as an author. Let me know in the comments where you're at in your publishing journey, and I'd love to hear a bit about how you're feeling about the financial side of things. Are you hoping to one day support yourself just on your writing, or is that not so important to you? If you're looking for some more tips on how to strengthen your author career, check out my video on how to become a best-selling author, where I give insights from working with best-selling authors throughout my career. Before you head out, please hit that thumbs up button if you liked this video, hit that subscribe button to join this amazing community, 
And don't forget your story self-assessment worksheet and my newsletter link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and happy writing.